Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part four of Let's Play Infinity Blade. This video, uh, you will see me complete the first bloodline. Uh, you never actually... You win, but you don't win even if you complete it successfully, um, as you'll see. Because even when you... If you do beat the God King at the end, you just you start all over again. And really, the, the point of this game, well, one, it's to avenge your father's death, but two, even beyond that, beyond the game, it's to see how far it, you can go, how many bloodlines you can do, because with each bloodline, the enemies get tougher, the god king gets stronger, so there are some people who have gotten several, several, several bloodlines deep. Uh, one of the achievements for this game is to do 20 bloodlines. Uh, go through them. I mean, you don't have to beat the Blood King or the God King, sorry, each time. It's just to go through 20 bloodlines, which is still, that takes a substantial amount of time. I believe, not obviously in this video, but currently um, I am about 16 or 17 bloodlines in. So the next video will actually show show you guys what it's like uh, as a level 45 character and to be a little deeper in the game what uh, the monsters are like what the god king is like at that state and I'll of course I'll try and beat him I don't beat him in this in this first bloodline I kinda got sloppy uh, but it definitely doesn't get really that much easier it's it's a weird uh, if you were to graph the difficulty at the start the god king is pretty hard just because you're inexperienced and you don't always have the reaction time and be able to predict how he's going to attack you don't know that and so once you get a few bloodlines deep he gets a little bit easier because you're getting the experience and you're leveling quite a bit faster than he does uh, I shouldn't it's tricky, but his actual level will be much higher, but your stats and your, your equipment, they increase in power a lot quicker than his do, at least for the first few bloodlines. And then eventually he just gets ridiculously high leveled and powerful. So you have to beat him, you have to find that sweet spot and beat him before he just gets out of reach. Uh, this here, in case you didn't see when I was first starting, this is the Dark Knight. Uh, I don't know if that's a kind of uh, reference to Batman, the guys be, uh, be at Chair Studios like like Batman, like that uh, take on it, maybe, I don't know. But he, the Dark Knight here, certainly is a chump. I dismantled him. And that leaves only one person left. The Dark Knight is kind of like his personal, his right-hand man, so to speak the last line of defense before the actual god king so that's who I'm gonna take on next and I warn you now I get I get manhandled pretty easily and you'll you'll see ma my magic has really no effect on him my blade doesn't either but it's the best blade I could afford at the time so You'll have to forgive me. Also, you should know, I have a pretty severe headache right now, so it makes me kind of negative and uh, just, uh, I just want to, I feel really frustrated. I wish I was playing this right now so that I could just take something and shove it in the God King in a very uncomfortable place and just twist. Anyways, also that chest that I just went into, that's a nice chest. Obviously, it's the one right before the God King, and I've found that most of the, the best loot, and the best items, that's that's where you get it. So don't miss that one before you fight the God King each time. Now, as well, it, when you're fighting the God King, there's kind of, just like any other fight, there's the three stages where you do enough damage, you knock him back. And then you do enough more damage, you'll knock him back one more time. And then obviously the third time is his death if you're able to do that. You can knock him back one time. Uh, he will he'll offer you... 
the chance to join his side, fight with him, which it's an alternate ending, you get an achievement for it, it's fine, but then after they show that alternate ending, you're right back to facing him again. You don't complete the, the bloodline by taking the alternate ending. So I, I'm not really sure exactly what to think about that. It was kind of cool the first time, but I actually thought, oh, this is going to open up a whole lot more gameplay, but it it didn't, it doesn't. Maybe, maybe there's going to be an update. I know they've they've got stuff stuff in the works for another update. And again, in the next video, it'll be showing you guys what it's like to play after the first update. This is be this video is before they updated it at all. But with the new one, there's a slew of new weapons. You can actually get up to level 45 instead of level 40, which was the max at this stage in the game. So, anyways, that's the end of this video. is a is a little shorter, but I wanted you to show what it's like to complete the first bloodline. And now I'll be basically showing some extra bonus footage of what what it's like to get even deeper into the game through after you've gone through a few bloodlines. So check back in a couple of days and I'll have more up for you.